Hi, I'm Emily Skinner and I'm here at Famous Birthdays and I'm gonna answer some questions that were submitted by you guys on Instagram. Okay, first question. If you could work with any actor or actress, who would it be? Well, I know she's not alive, but Audrey Hepburn, <laughs> I'm obsessed with her and she's such a good actress and I just love like her style and everything about her. But if, so obviously her, but someone alive, I love Tom Holland. I think I'm like obsessed with him. I just watched the Infinity War. I love Marvel movies and working with him would be like a dream. So I'm gonna go with those two people. Um, if you could be any Disney princess, who would you be and why? I always have loved Pocahontas. I feel like it'd be so fun to like live like that. Like she just lives in the wilderness and jumps into the rivers. I don't know, I just think that'd be so much fun. So Pocahontas, and she has a pet raccoon. I mean, come on, that would be so fun. Have you ever Googled yourself? <laughs> well, actually, this is a funny story. I <laughs> I was scrolling through like my Instagram comments and I kept getting all of these comments saying like, are you actually 47? Like all this stuff and I was like, what? And they're like, check Google. Like, and so I like Googled myself and it was like Emily Skinner, 47 years old. <laughs> and it was like, it got me confused with the Broadway actress, Emily Skinner. I was so confused because it says like has been on all these Broadway shows. I was like, I wish, but like I haven't. And so yeah, now everyone thinks I'm 47, but I'm not. I'm 15. <laughs> um, have you ever been interested in singing? Well, I've had to sing for auditions and stuff before, and I've taken like singing lessons, and I love singing. Like I'll sing in the car, in the shower, but I don't think I'm like amazing at it at all. But I would like to get better at it. I think it's really fun. Uh, what has been your favorite project to work on? Oh, that's so hard because every project I work on, I love. <laughs> but I did this short film a long time ago with Jessica. Jessica Beale directed it. And it was like, I don't know, it was like a film kind of. So it was really fun because I'd never done like a movie or anything like that. And we were like running through like wilderness and like climbing up stuff. I don't know, all the like the stunts and stuff we had to do I thought was so fun. It was called So Dallas. So I think that's definitely been one of my favorites besides the stuff I'm doing now, but yeah. Um, would you ever start a YouTube channel? I, I don't have a YouTube channel because I'm just so busy right now with like filming Total Clips and then flying to Andy Mac. But once that all dies down, I mean, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do a YouTube channel and just get to know you guys more, but maybe in the future. Um, what was it like on the set of Sam and Cat? Oh my gosh, that was such a fun set to be on. Ariana and Jeanette were literally the sweetest people ever. Afterwards, even, we would go to Cameron, he played Dice, his apartment, and we would we would all just go and have barbecues, and Jeanette would always dogpile, and they were just the sweetest, most down-to-earth set ever. I loved them, and we kept in touch for so long after that, and I'm so thankful for that experience. If you could work on another Brat show, which show would it be and why? Oh my gosh, that's hard because they're all so good. I think it'd be really fun to work on Dirt because I love motocross and I feel like that'd just be like, I don't know, really cool. I love Lilia and she's on it. And I don't know, it just seems like a fun set and I love watching it. Like I'm hooked, it's a good show, so yeah. Um, can you tell us about a funny moment on the set of Total Eclipse? <laughs> we have so many funny moments. I feel like every moment there is a funny moment. But lately, the last few weeks, we've been playing this game where we have this little like clothes pin and we write like tag your it on it and we'll run around to all the people in the crew and like sneak it on their jackets and stuff. And like, if you're it, you have to take it and put it on someone else. And it's really fun. It gets really competitive. We're like in the middle of a take and someone will like reach in and put it on us. It's so fun. Um, what is your favorite total clip scene to film? It was, <laughs> it was really fun to film the scene where I get rejected from the cheer team <laughs> because I don't know, we had to do, I had to do that dance. And like, first of all, I run in like mascara all over my face. I'm like a mess. And then Lilia's character, Autumn is like, get it together. Like, I like how she's the only person who like puts Diana in her place. And it was just really funny when she got rejected because I was like, finally someone like put her in her place. But it was really fun to film because Lily and I had to like stare at each other as I was doing the dance and I could not keep a straight face. Um, what should we expect for season two of Total Eclipse? 
I mean, a lot more drama, I'm just gonna say. A lot more relationships, like relationships that you wouldn't expect happen. And I think it's really cool how like different groups like combine and people get in fights, people get together. And I feel like a lot of things that you're not going to expect. Oh, and that last episode, something really big happens that no one's going to expect. It's just a lot of plot twists, I feel. It's gonna be really fun. Um, if you weren't acting, what would you want to do? Well, I definitely still want to be in the industry, I feel, because, I don't know, I just love acting so much. I feel like I'd either want to be in writing or directing, and I'll probably still, hopefully, end up doing that anyway, because I think it'd be so fun to be like a director or a writer, but yeah. Um, what's your favorite memory on Andy Mac? I think now we just went to the Television Academy Awards and we had we won an award there which was like oh it was so crazy it was surreal we it was just being in a room with so many incredible talented actors like the cast of 13 Reasons Why were there like and I don't know just to see it was just such a positive experience to see like how much TV shows and movies can like change people in a positive way I just thought it was like so inspiring I was literally crying it was just so overwhelming but that was really amazing. Um, how hard is it trying to keep up with schoolwork and acting? Yeah, it's definitely hard because obviously I don't go to school, I'm homeschooled. And since we live in Orange County and it takes a while to get up to LA, like a couple hours, I do a lot of my schoolwork in the car, like going up to auditions and set and stuff. And when I'm on set, we have a certain amount of hours that we have to do on set. So it actually is easier to get my schoolwork done when I'm filming because we have to get it done. But like when I'm just like going to auditions and stuff, it's so hard to get it all done. But the car ride definitely helps because I have like a couple hours there to get it done. Um, favorite old Disney TV show? Oh my gosh, the old Disney shows were like the best. I was obsessed with so many. I'm probably Hannah Montana. I've watched it like I think 11 times now all the way through. I, I loved it so much. Also, Wizards of Waverly Place was a really good one. I don't know, both of those were definitely my favorites. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some fun facts about me. <laughs> but I'll see you next time.